One of the annual issues connected to these days has to do with music. Can we listen to music? Can we play music? Can we enjoy music? I mean, music music is an, is an issue. And the interesting thing is that the Shulchan Aruch prohibits us all year long from playing music. And that generally, and then that's Zecher Lechurban, because the, the, the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, how you just run around and play music. But since the distress over the Churban Beis HaMikdash that we have during these days, during the days from Shiva Thomas until, until uh, Tisha B'Av, so it seems to be true that even those who permit listening to music all year long, even though, as I said, it's not perfectly clear where this heter comes from, nevertheless, these days, during the day from Shivas of Betamas until Shti Shavav, we should try to, on the one hand, not play a musical instrument and not listen to, uh, to music that's played um, at all. Now, this prohibition is from Shivasa Batamos until after Tish Abbe'av. Uh, of course, uh, the question came up, what about a Surah's Mitzvah? What about a bris? You have a bris during these days. You can't really decide what, to, what day a bris is going to be. And there the poskim say that, uh, some poskim say that you shouldn't do it at all, shouldn't play music. And some say, well, okay, until Rosh Chodesh Av. And then those who say uh, that uh, even after Rosh Chodesh Av, uh, you could do it in certain circumstances. But we know that music is, um, is problematic. And you have to, I think, consider the issue of music in the following way. Enjoying music has different meanings and different connotations. If the music that we're talking about is white music, like I'm playing music in order to shut out the noise from the street, I'm playing music in order to blank out the noise in my house so that I can read or that I can study, I would imagine, I would imagine that that kind of music is not prohibited. Only the music that is associated with Simchat Mere'ut, with a joyous occasion, where the music and the joy of the mitzvah come together and enhance each other, only that kind of music is the music that was the concern of Chazal. But I mean, you don't have a problem if you go into an elevator and they're playing music in the elevator so that you know people should, should not have to feel uh, badly about running around so that kind of white music is irrelevant to the, to the prohibition. Now I say this even though I know that many poskim are machmir on this issue, and especially I know that in Yerushalayim where I live, uh, people traditionally are machmir. But, uh, you know, people generally don't really listen to music. They only use the music to cover up other sounds and other noises, except when the music is being played at a simcha shel mitzvah. So I say that during these days, during these days, one should try to avoid listening to music, should certainly try not to uh, rock and roll down the streets with, a, uh, with an iPod stuck into his head, and he should not uh, uh, make these days as, as all other days are. But if a person says, I learn and I need a little black background music to shut out the noise that disturbs me when I'm learning, I would imagine that that would be an acceptable form of listening to music. On the other hand, even if it's permitted for you, you should make, be very careful if you're in a dormitory and a home with other people who don't want to listen to music during these days, that you won't allow the music that you're listening to to affect their standards. And if they don't want to listen to the music, 
that you shouldn't listen to music unless you're listening from a kind of a, a, a tape recorder that only you can that only you can hear.